Across the GCC, we have a proud history of using innovation and opportunities to advance our economies. Our ancestors were fishermen, traders, and pearl divers. Then things changed. We discovered oil, and on the back of that, we began to build. But then came two more recent seismic shifts. The phenomena of globalization, which exposed everyone to the best standards in every industry. And shortly after this, a financial crisis of global proportions. Together, this triggered debates across boardrooms in every GCC country about lifting standards for customer service and cost efficiency. We at Emirates and BD were always looking at uh, bringing efficiencies and improving the service levels. I think the financial institutions were going through the challenges of uh, increasing the volumes and the customer expectations was growing. And uh, a company like uh, Tenfeet or a BPO was uh, one of the considerations or the options for improving that uh, efficiencies. Now at that time we had two options, either we go and offshore our uh, operations to some of the existing BPO or establish a BPO within the country onshore and we decided to go onshore because it has more of a local appetite it understands the challenges of the businesses the one thing that we noticed in the UAE is that service element you actually have a gap that we noticed that that's the niche that we want to play in yes we can do it anywhere in the world which is much cheaper but why in the UAE? There was a demand, and our demand was our customers were asking for more. The challenge was actually executing and maintaining that sustainable uh, customer service. And if I look at the early days of Tempfeed, it was a small idea. We could have piloted it in the bank, but unfortunately in the bank, it didn't uh, fulfill our greater need. So we decided to separate Tempfeed as a spin-off company. Tenfeet got to work with McKinsey to make it happen. For us today, Tenfeet is a global showcase of service excellence and operational excellence. And it has been a privilege for us at McKinsey and Company to have been part of the Tenfeet journey ever since the conceptualization and the detailed design of Tenfeet in its implementation and today in its ongoing support. For us, Tenfeet has never been and will never be a project. It is to us a partnership and we feel fully responsible for its success on an ongoing basis. So, what did it take to build Tanfeed? Firstly, an executive committee was formed comprised of global experts. Together, they defined the five core values Tanfeed needed to live by. This meant putting customers first and working as one team, but also ensuring continuous improvement was a way of life, that people respected each other, regardless of rank or position, and they showed integrity in their motives and actions. Tanfeet then created an organizational ecosystem that put customers at the heart of its business. Cross-functional work cell teams were formed that cut across organizational silos to deliver according to customer segment or customer geography. On-the-ground assistance from key support functions like HR, MIS, and IT also ensured rapid problem solving. A lean operating model was established to foster the culture and performance levels Tanfeet aspired to. It included 10 practical, customer-centric initiatives that everyone was responsible for living. Daily huddles were one example, which uniquely blended the fact-based discussions and analytics of huddles from the manufacturing industry with the energy of those in the hospitality sector. Then, there was the ground-up innovation engine known as root cause problem solving, which empowered employees to solve customer issues on the spot. Comprehensive, customized training programs were introduced. Reward and recognition programs celebrated customer successes, whilst employee pay was linked to the level of customer service they delivered. This formed part of a performance management system that drove the right behaviors Tanfeet needed to deliver high performance. It also made everyone's KPIs visible to the entire organization and to clients, driving accountability from the CEO to the agent level. 
Tanfid then ensured its executive committee walked the talk when it came to all of these initiatives. This included spending time with agents each week to conduct various lean activities and directly understand the concerns of employees and customers. Next came the fun part, growth. After just two years, Tanfit had absorbed all of Emirates NBD's back office and hit 2,000 employees. With the market increasingly recognizing its track record for improving service quality, productivity, efficiency, risk, and employee engagement. Of course, these were not the ambitions of our ancestors as fishermen and pearl divers. But like the monumental developments in the region, Tanfith's journey has been fast, exhilarating, and impressive. And certainly, the best is yet to come.